What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, man. What is going on with these teachers these days, man? They be having whole families, husbands, but still want to sleep with minors. You can't make this stuff up, man. Let's get into this video. Matariga was ultimately charged with five felony counts of lewd act upon a child under age 14. Two more felony under age 14, man of lewd act upon a child aged 14 and 15 and one felony count of furnishing a controlled substance to a minor she pleaded not guilty to these charges and appeared in court just this week that's when prosecutors revealed even more shocking details about matarico's conduct after her arrest prosecutors say matarico didn't have any remorse instead she said she was willing to go to jail for this boy and even left her husband because she was so obsessed with the student bruh this lady facing charges she went to court and told them people that She'll leave her husband for this 13-year-old, man. She'll do time for this 13-year-old, man. Look at her. Her right there. And she's a special ed teacher at that. This is the part where prosecutors compared the boy to a drug, saying he's Matariko's form of crystal meth. Prosecutors argued that if she was released on bond, the boy would then be in danger. They pointed to Instagram DMs when Matariko had apparently reached out to the boy's friend in hopes of getting in contact with him. A public wow. defender is the one representing Matariko and pointed to her clean criminal record at this hearing. She got a she got a public defender. See, this is how you know these teachers, man. They be with the bull. Her profile name is Fab Over 40. Shouty, if you were fabulous over 40, it'll be other dudes checking for you, man. Not know you wouldn't have to go allegedly drug and rape kids. You know what I'm saying? And you got kids of your own. Why is she doing that? Mental health issues. And she's a teacher. She needs a therapist. Suggesting she should be released. A judge ultimately set Matariko's bond to $590,000, saying yes. that if Matariko puts up the bond, she'll still be subjected to GPS monitoring. These are teachers that like y'all students, man. They like y'all, uh, if y'all got kids in middle school. Yeah. They ain't got no little girlfriend. They got an old lady <laughs> as a trick. <laughs> Meanwhile, the case is still under investigation, as LAPD officials believe there could be even more victims. If that's true, Matariko could face even more charges. Okay, one thing's for sure about this case, the allegations are pretty disturbing. So to try to make sense of that, we've got to turn to criminal defense attorney Kathleen Bogenschutz. Kathleen, thank you for coming on with us today. Good to be here. Thanks for having me. So something that stood out to me right away about this case actually was mentioned by the L.A. County District Attorney that this teacher abused her position of power. She took advantage of a student. She's supposed to be an authority that they can trust. Is that something you agree with? Yeah, absolutely. Um, in fact, there's even some states, including my state of Florida, that have created these new statutes. Shout out to Florida, man. That have criminalized simply being in that position of authority. So uh, even if a student was 18, and a teacher, you know, turn 18 sometime your senior year and starts having some kind of relationship with the teacher, you know, anywhere outside of the school, that would be technically legal. Although, depending on the age difference, we might all frown on it. There would be nothing to prosecute. Uh, but that has been criminalized in and of itself. But here we've got a giant age gap. We've got a middle schooler. We've got a position of authority. And uh, I even read that in, in one place that she continued the relationship even after she knew there was an investigation going on. Yeah. She did not care. She wanted that young meat, man. Leaving your husband and your family for a 13-year-old. <laughs> man, this shit crazy, ain't it? That's actually accurate, what investigators have said, that she kind of got wind of this investigation, and she doubled down. She still continued to talk to this student and actually went to his high school and allegedly had sex with him outside in a car. She said she's in love with this student. She said she'll leave her husband for him. She's obsessed. I don't know. What do you make of all that? No, I, I mean, at some point, she, she mentioned that this was her crystal meth in the messages. And one of the things that, uh, I'm not a scientist, but I uh, sometimes I play one on TV or in a courtroom because we do expert witnesses. And one thing that some of my experts have pointed out in the past is that the same like uh, dopamine receptors that things like cocaine and meth and stuff like that light up in the brain also light up when you're in love. Uh, and uh, for some people, like if you're eating a food that you terribly enjoy, they, they do light up the same receptors. And for me, I mean, she's 43 years old. She's a mother, she's got kids that are the same age as this victim, or at least fairly close to it. One of the things that I would be considering if I was representing her is the whole works head to toes for medical as well as psych evals, because to just suddenly begin taking these kinds of risks at age 43, 
you don't go out and start committing crimes at 43. That's not what you see when you're a prosecutor. And I was a prosecutor for 12 years. You, you see. So she must be having a major, major midlife crisis. She waited. She's 43. You know, that put the be hot around that age. They get more hornier. Yeah. And dude's not checking for it at that age. You feel me? So they got to get somebody they can take advantage of, unfortunately. Allegedly. <laughs> and that's her right there. Predator. Fab over 40. If y'all got young boys and girls in middle school, check their phones, man. He's teaching something else out here. They something else out here, man. But yeah, man, we just gonna let that sit on y'all spirit, you feel me? We're gonna go ahead and get up out of here, man. You feel me? Make sure y'all watch the whole video, too. We out, man. <laughs>